Hey everyone, we're busy and had to get up early this morning because the tree trimmers are here to work in the backyard. Harry and I are already hungry, so come on you guys, let's get this day started. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Harry and I went to bed late last night, about 1.30. We cleaned up the guest room, um, stripped the bed, washed everything, redid it, and that's where we slept last night, um, which was heavenly. It was great. Um, Sally doesn't know what to think of anything. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, we've been sleeping in RV, Arvita which is our, our fifth wheel for those of you who are new. And now, last night we slept in the guest room and we're getting up really early. What's mom and dad doing? Well, for those of you who are new, we had 55 mile an hour winds here in Arizona. We have monsoons this time of year uh, and at the beginning of the week, and we had some major limbs break and, and launch themselves and get caught up in our huge eucalyptus tree. How, how, Paul, would you say that is? Well, to the whole tree? Yeah. That's about 55 feet tall. Yeah, a 55 foot tall tree. Alarm went off at 7.15, even though we didn't go to bed till 1.30. Had our coffee. They're here. They're working. And so we said, you know what? I'm getting a little hungry. I made some... Uh, was this bison or hamburger now? I can't remember. I don't know. Um made some ground meat it's either bison i can't really tell the difference bison or beef so or it could be a mixture but we just want a beef bowl so you guys i'm gonna make us a beef bowl which basically is a ground beef with eggs on top got a couple of eggs in here and it's a super easy super simple meal now if you have histamine issues which we do not, um, you should grab uh, frozen meat, cook it fresh, and not eat the leftovers because it does get a little bit of histamine. Cup, I, got, I bought this cute little dress for like nine bucks on Timu uh, for our vacation. And it's a little bit high waisted on me. That waist will drop as I lose my tummy, but uh, super comfortable, super easy. I like dresses with pockets. Yes, I do. I love them. If you ever remember Dr. Seuss's, I got a walk it in my pocket, a new case in my bookcase. Yes. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah. Anyway, back to carnivore. How's everybody doing? We're loving it. it. It was the easiest transition we've ever made going from keto to ketovore, now to carnivore. It's super easy. Uh, Harry's having some issues. He's having some uh, keto carnivore flu symptoms which is interesting he's getting an acid stomach what are some of the other things you're having just uh tired tired hungry a lot you eat, hungry a lot um so we're readjusting him um and then acid stomach last night he actually had half a teaspoon of baking soda in water and did that help oh yeah helped yeah, a lot that helped after he tried the vinegar trick so we're still adjusting. Usually the vinegar does it, but no, not this time. I, you right. Know, just well, didn't I ran out of your enzymes that you need for your pancreas to help you digest mm. the meats that we found out about by taking the sensitivity check test. Sensitivity check was the company. Anyway, mm. you guys, Harry's growling at me because he's holding his little phone because his new gimbal because his old one broke has not come yet. So you guys come back in just a minute. Let me get my pans and things set up so we can make a beef bowl for breakfast. But I like browned butter the best. I yeah, just me too. Tastes it just so tastes good. so good. Yeah. Sometimes I can't wait for it to brown because I'm starving. Um, got my uh, meat in the microwave, just heating that up. I have my scale because I am weighing the amount of meat I am eating. The meat I want six ounces in the morning, six ounces in the evening, or six ounces at lunchtime. So like three meals, six, I want 18 ounces of meat and then added protein to that. 
the eggs, cottage cheese, those kinds of things to make sure I'm getting enough protein. I'm aiming for one gram of protein per my lean body weight where I want to be um, to make sure I'm getting enough that I am not under eating. And if you feel if you have a weight loss stall, you always go back to the beginning and start tracking to see where you are, where your fats fall, where your protein falls, and you need to adjust it accordingly. So, um, like I said, and if you're brand new, we just got back from four days short of being gone an entire month. And we tried to be carnivore with a few carnivore-ish days, which means we had a little veg, um, but basically animal-based while we were gone. The challenge is, is I think we were overeating. We, we um, also were in a time zone change. So when we got home, I was, my body was used to a different time zone finally. And I had to re-get my body back to where uh, it needs to be as far as regimented is concerned. Time. When am I going to start eating? When am I going to end eating? Trying to end eating earlier in the day, like 6 p.m. Um, for those of you who are new, I had a lap band and I had it removed. And I can't eat food and go to bed on a full stomach. I can't. It, I need at least three to five hours for my system to get it all the way into my intestines so that I feel comfortable laying down. So um, I try to quit eating. And Harry, unfortunately, is a late night snacker in the old days. So we're trying to uh, get back into a regimen where we are uh, stopping eating at 6 p.m. And we're eating three meals a day right now to make sure we're eating enough protein. Even if we're not hungry, we're making the food, we're sitting down, and we're eating it. I have no problem. Yeah. So, but sometimes I do. So that's what we are doing. Let me wash my hands and we'll come back when we make and build a beef bowl. Done. Yes, it does. The eggs are done. Got them off. And move those over. Move this here. Get this measured real quick. My beef bowl. Oops. My counter is clean, you guys. I'm the one eating it too, so I'm gonna do four ounces because I may want cottage cheese later. Let's see what I give you. You need a few more ounces than I do. You're shorter than I, but you're a man, so you need more food, a little bit more. So what is the deal a woman should eat, you know, just it depends a base? On, it, there isn't. It depends on everybody's. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean you eat a certain way. You need to do a T-D-E-E. -E, um, and you need to, you can get free ones on Amazon. I mean, you can get free ones on Google. T-D-E-E. -E. You put your height, your weight, your age, your sex in there and it tells you what your resting metabolism is and what you need to do to lose weight. You, you fill it out, you know, how sedentary you are, how active you are. All of those things are a factor. It's not just because you're a woman or you're a man, you know, you're male or female. Um, that does not matter. It matters on your age, your height, your current weight, your activity level. So you need to find all those things you need to punch in the right numbers. This is something you do for you, so nobody's seeing what you are putting in but you. And um, going from there. Yes, he does. Tuck that right in. Chuck that right in. So, I'm 5'9", you're five, seven and a half. So... Really, you only get a couple more ounces than I do. Your, our age is pretty close. Notice I said the word pretty. I'm older than you are. I'm 70. You're going to be 69 in a few.
few days, Harry. Mm -hmm. Your birthday's coming up. Let me put some pluck on this because we don't eat organ meat and this has got your organ meats in it and we just put it on everything and it gives us all our vitamins, which is wonderful. I'm also gonna put some Chef's Blend, Redmond Real Salt Chef Blend Smoke Salt. Love it, absolutely. And we're getting our salt too. And this is a very super easy, super simple. You can take this to uh, your job with you and heat it up in the microwave and have a delicious, nutritious meal. And Harry loves this. So mm -hmm. guys, gotta go eat now. Come on, let's go do a taste test. Another thing I truly believe in, you should eat one gram of protein for every pound of lean body weight. Now, what you want to weigh and what your lean body weight should be is another thing. And you can look at the original charts. You can get any, you know, height and weight chart you want. Um, and then you need to be eating at least that amount of protein. You can at least have 30 grams of protein per meal in order to do that. So I use Carb Manager and I punch in my stuff. So I found out you can use the rule of seven, you know, seven grams of protein is in every, uh, for every hundred grams of, of meat, you get seven grams of protein. So you can kind of figure that out too. Um, there's lots of charts that are free. So don't pay for one, Google it and go to the charts that are free. So anyway, you guys, I am gonna, whoops, throw the fork, stab myself, <laughs> get my eggs, cut them up and uh, go from there. So, and then you adjust accordingly. Some of you may have been chronically under eating. And so you may gain a little bit of weight when you flip the switch and go carnivore or even keto, ketovore. I believe that weight loss stalls can be both the fact that you're carb creeping. That means you're adding hidden carbs that you're not counting. A little bit here, a little bit there adds up. And also the fact that you have lowered the amount of protein and fat you're eating. And you need to check those on occasion. It's not like you have to do it for the rest of your life, but I think the first thing you do in a weight stall or when you're not feeling good is to start tracking for at least a week or two. Eat your foods that you rotate on a regular basis, the foods you like, eat the way you have been and track it and then start looking at it hard and cut out the things like the carbs, bring down the carbs or get rid of the carbs. We say, you know, carnivore is a zero carb diet. Well, if you're eating eggs, there's a little bit of carbs in eggs, 0.6 per uh, large egg to be exact. There's a little bit of carbs in dairy, some of the dairy. There's a little bit of carbs in some of the seasoning you may be using too. Um, because when we season with plants, there are carbs there. So you may have a super low amount of carbs but there's still carbs in a zero, unless you're doing the lion diet, which is beef, salt, and water. And that truly is zero carbs. So I just wanted to bring that up too. So um, I track everything and I, I'm weighing everything. And, you know, the scale moved. When I first started doing the 60-day carnivore challenge, I gained weight. And I realized why, you know, I was eating late. My, my sleeping was screwed up because of the time zone change. My food schedule was screwed up. So that's why I decided to start weighing and measuring. So I went back to the basics, figured out where I wanted to be gram, a protein gram wise, hitting that as a minimum every single day and then going from there. One thing I like, I like to pluck on here, which is really kind of weird, huh? Well, it is, and why is that? Let everybody know why. Because it's made of like liver and you know all the uh, you know organ meat. Organ meat, yeah, the organ meat. Because I don't like organ meat, but for some reason, this stuff is great on here. I think it really yeah. adds. It's flavor. a good way of getting. So, let's put it this way: it's a great way of getting somebody who doesn't like 
uh, liver and organ meats to have liver and organ meats. Which is where all the vitamins and nu right. nutrients are at. Vitamins right. and minerals, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. So, anyway, you guys, got to eat now. I finally got to sit down and watch our video from last night and oops, Henry made a mistake. Yes, he did about the weigh-in, you guys. I thought I was jealous yesterday. Well, I'm even more jealous today because you guys, he actually lost three and eight tenths, almost four pounds. He put a two there by mistake and I noticed it last night this morning that that and i'm sure i haven't looked at notes yet and comments but i'm sure a bunch of people have already corrected you on your math harry oh probably harry does the math and he did it first thing oh, we just from our so Vita, fast. i had a note that said weigh in uh on the coffee pot so we couldn't even push the button for the coffee and i apologize but there's sawing going on so uh if you hear that in the background that's what that noise is but um Watched it this morning and went, oh, shoot, Harry, you know, and so uh, I'm sure all of you have already told us all about it, but that's exciting, almost four pounds, you know, so I just got to get mine back on track and going down because we have weight to get back down to and then we have more weight to lose. Yes, we do, but I'm feeling really good about it. I really am. So that beef bowl was fantastic i almost didn't finish it harry made me yep literally i he said I you've got to eat it all he says you've got to eat it all honey you've got to eat it all so i did oh now i've got to go sit down and digest <laughs> yes i do so we'll see you guys in the next segment ah oh, yes indeed digestion time <laughs> So, I was thinking today. Uh-oh. I know, here it comes, here it comes. I'm carnivore for 60 days. I want it to be plain and simple. I cook food and then I have leftovers, and Harry doesn't want to eat the same thing every single day. Nope, Harry he's doesn't. Not, he's not. So, here comes Wendy crazy in the kitchen. Experiment time, but keeping it carnivore. Can she oh, do it? Now, wait a minute. What are, what are you can thinking about? Can she do it? I'm thinking. What can you do? I'm thinking. I want a pasta, creamy, textured, noodly, with meat. <laughs> Using what I have in the refrigerator, but keep it carnivore. Oh, okay. Are you going to pull out your magic bag of tricks there, Felix? I don't know, but I'm going to start looking. Now, I think I'm going to need some kettle on fire. I'm going to need bone broth because oh, I want to make a broth. Is that considered uh, carnivore? Yes. It is if you, uh, well, it is and it isn't. The broth has some vegetables that were made with it, so you can use homemade bone broth. You can use plain bone broth. It depends on what degree animal-based products you want to use. Right. But I'm not going to use whole vegetables in this at all. I have to use my leftover meat. Can I, yeah, I was going to ask a question. Is this going to satisfy your idea for how much protein you need to eat yeah. in a meal? Yes. Mm, it is. Okay. In my mind, right now, I'm going. I'm going. My brain's going. I've got pork. Let's see what else I have. Oh, please, baby. Oh, good. Ooh, I was worried I didn't have any Philadelphia cream cheese. That is considered carnivore? It's made from an animal. It's made from cream, pasteurized milk, cream, salt. It's got a little bit of carabine gum, but a lot of carnivore juice. I've got butter. Oh, yeah. Butter's better. Now, what else do I got? I have got... Okay, so now you got me interested. Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, I have got, I have got Egg Life Southwest wraps. Oh, cool. But they have other ingredients, and I'm trying to stay away from other ingredients. I've got Egg White wraps, plain. Okay. I'm going to use those. Noodles. 
Oh, okay. I get. Oh, Please. I know you're going. The stroganoff thing kind of blew it for me. I didn't couldn't figure out what you're doing. You know. I didn't say stroganoff. What did you say? How did you know I was going to kind of make a stroganoff dish? I didn't even mention it to you. Are you really going to yes. try to make a stroganoff? Yeah, because of the cream cheese and noodles. Could be. Meat. Well, you know, when I went to cooking school, <laughs> I was a lucky guess. So, well, what really, you that's what you're going to make? Well, I'm thinking about it. I'm How thinking, are you? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I can do this. I'm really curious. Okay, so I have water boiling. Yeah. I'm, this is gonna make it creamy. This is gonna give it, you know, that little bit of water down. You must have said stroganoff when you started. I did not say stro. All right, anybody who says I said stroganoff, leave me. I did not mention this to Harry because I didn't even know what I was gonna do. I said I want something like a. A pasta, a noodle, I don't think I said Yeah, that's that. what you said. I did not uh, say stroganoff. You know what? I'm going to have to watch this. And see I think you you're going to have to. Because somehow, how did I come up with stroganoff? She didn't tell me what she was going to make. I'm serious. I'm going trying to figure it out like you guys were. I don't want this one. So oh. somehow, you had, you thought it how? really loudly. Oh, you're right. That's you know, it. Harry we do that once in a while. No, you do read my mind. Yeah. Or it takes two minds to think one, one good thought. Or it takes know. two people in in a in our house to be able to come up with anything decent. That is so. Now I want to turn down my water because I'm not ready for the water yet. This is the main thing I got to think about here. So that is so weird. You said stroganoff because I'm thinking like stroganoff in my brain. I don't think I said it out. I'm a blonde. I could have said it out loud. Could have I because I might have picked it up. Because like I'm a blonde and I could have picked it up. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's do. Oh, this. now I'm a gray. Nice. Right? Yeah. Good now I'm knife. silver. Nancano. Oh, Great knife. So what I'm gonna do is I want to chop my my pork pieces up, pull it off the bone, get a really nice uh, pork going on pieces. Look at that. That one. You're right. This one. The smaller pieces have had, no, had no bones. bones. None. Yeah. Cause I got one yesterday. Yep, you did. I said, "There's no, there was no bone here." I, I don't think I've said the word stroganoff since I made stroganoff. This is really bugging me, Harry, because like you. You know, must have said it sometime. Well, I was just thinking. You had to, because I, I'm sorry, I just don't have the brain, the gray matter above it. We'll figure it out when it comes to cooking. So you had to say it sometime. Well, I'm surprised you remember what I even make stroganoff out of. I'm like, whoa. It might be a, a sub. Sub, uh, I'm leaving the fat on the pork because we need to have some fat. We have any psychology fun. people in the in the audience that could probably tell us what happened. I don't know. You just know me very well, and you know that I like white sauce better oh, than yeah. uh, red oh, sauce. Yeah, yeah, always yeah, have, yeah. Well, always have. I did when you said that. I did figure white sauce, so maybe that's what threw it. Maybe that's what did it. I don't have any cream. I've got powdered cream that I could add. Um, but I thought, wow, gotta use the meat we cooked, you know, that's what I thought. I think I've got plenty of pork, we'll right, right here. Yeah. I think I am going to turn on the water, I mean the water, the water's boiling. My noodles are going to go in there to heat up. Get this pan. I think I'm going to take about, if you look at this, right here. I'm going to take about three tablespoons of butter. About three tablespoons of butter, more or less. Do it to your taste. Maybe maybe a quarter of a cup, maybe four. I'm going to get that going. I have my, um, where's my cream cheese? Harry put my cream cheese in this bowl. I want to get it uh, warmed because I want it really soft and I just brought it right out and I don't want lumps in my gravy. So I'm gonna do 17 minutes, 17 seconds, pardon me, seconds, seconds, seconds. I'll turn that off. Oh, that wasn't long enough, I don't think. Take a gander. I'm gonna have seconds more. Well, I still have a piece of pork and I have plenty of pork here. Is that one without a bone? That one has a bone. 
I guess we ate all the ones with a lot of bone yesterday because it's weird that everything I cut, I had one little bone. And the one bone that was in mine from yesterday was three ounces. Yeah. I could use even uh, cottage cheese with this. Um, if you have heavy cream, you can make your uh, white sauce with heavy whipping cream or, like I am, softened cream cheese. So I'm just going to put my softened cream cheese right in here. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, I am. Sometimes I just get bored of plain food, and that was my whole thing on. I know I watch a lot of, of carnivores, and some of them that love to cook... Um, I love to eat more than I love to cook, um, but I want like variety and stuff. And I like playing around with easy things. What are you doing? Kind of making a sauce. Yeah. Putting a little bit of, I have to be careful. Where's my rubber? There. My silicon one is what I should be using because it won't tear up my copper, red copper pan. My saucing. With my saucy sauce, right? Yep. Now you can put this in a blender. You can just sit here and stir it on the stove. I'm thinking, now, should I use Redmond Season Salt or Pluck? Or both? Oh, I was going to say, just use both. Hmm. I want a garlic taste to this, so I'm using, and you don't have to use garlic, but I'm using this. Get as purest as you want or not, but this is pluck garlic because my I love Alfredo with garlic, with a garlic taste to it. Yes, I do. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, man, does that smell. Mmm. That smells like a pizza parlor already, doesn't it? Yep. Yep, yep. Oh man, that smells delicious. It's okay. gonna be good. Oh yeah. Now, what you wanna do, it's nice and thick already. I wanna take my meat, put it right into the sauce. Because everything is basically cooked. This is so easy. It smells delicious already. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, Any good. meat you have, chicken, uh, fish, lamb, I mean not fish, pork. Well, shrimp would be delicious in this. Actually, shrimp would be very delicious in this. Shrimp al Alfredo with Alfredo sauce would be delicious. So what I'm doing is just putting my pork in here. Oh, it looks really good. I need just a little bit more broth because I just want it just a little bit um, thinner broth because I want it to thicken up and marry into the meat while the meat gets hot, right? Yep. Oh yeah, this is gonna be Delicious! Mm -mm -mm. I don't have any other cheeses in the house. I don't have Parmesan cheese or anything, but if you did, you could add that. I'm gonna put a little splash more of this in until I get just the consistency of the sauce that I want. Because I want it to boil a little bit, get warm, warm the sauce, warm the meat. The meat will get nice and soft and tender. I want the fats to uh, marry into this sauce. So let me get a spoon. Is it good? Oh, really? Oh yeah, taste this. Oh, I'm gonna get spoiled. Turn around. Again. There you go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> Wouldn't you oh say? Oh goodness. How easy is that? Oh wait, there's more. I'm gonna cover this and put this on a nice low slow, just so that it's... Um... Oh, that is good. Oh yeah, that is that good. Is nuts. Isn't it? Super easy, super delicious. I mean, you guys are really watching this in real time. Oh yeah, in, in my brain too, real, real time. Now, Noodles, so easy to make if you have egg life wraps. Now, there is a uh, flatbread, two ingredients. It's two eggs and a half a cup of cottage cheese. Whip it all together. Pour it onto a um, silicone cookie sheet, very thin, or 
parchment paper, cook it in the oven. You can take that out, roll it up, and chop it into noodles. But, well, I was thinking about doing that, but I'm hungry. Yeah, right. And I have egg life wraps that have to be eaten. So I just take my egg life wraps, you guys, and uh, roll them up a couple at a time and just slice them. Do you put them in the pan too? I'm going to put them in the water in and the water. get them hot like regular noodles. Right, right. What I was thinking of the other day when I said mom made puchigi for us, yeah. I, that got my mind to thinking, how can I make the, egg, the, the potato noodles mom made? And then I thought, well, what about egg white wraps? Right. Right? Right. Well, I was just thinking about that. Actually, I could do it. Uh, I'll have to make puchigi with egg life wraps and see. You know? Because yeah. the potato noodles are more like uh, gnocchi. Uh, but they were long. Mom just uh, cut up, sliced them free handed. Now I need to get over here. My water is hot. And I'm just going to take my noodles and just warm them in the hot water. But you have to take them apart because you've got several layers in here of noodles. All right. Lots of lip different uh, layers. So I'm going to go through, layer all my noodles, get them in the pot, and then we'll come right back, you guys. Oops, they're falling out of my hands. I think I need to take my gloves off. Got my noodles on my board. These guys got stuck together, so that's my bad. Sorry, they'll be fine. I know they will be. Get the noodles going, get them nice and warm. I love egg life wraps because they are so versatile. And yet, you can make them into noodles. You can do all kinds of things. So I'm just warming Tacos. them up. Tacos. You can, somebody said deep Burrito. fry them. I have to Burritos. try that next and get that done. So I'm just gonna let these uh, get warm a second. Just gonna put them on the boil. You guys, come back when my noodles are hot. This is just marrying, and then we'll come back and we'll plate it, and we're going to do a taste test. But if it tastes anything as good as just the sauce does, I'm excited. Yes, indeed. So come back when we plate this delicious meat-based meal. Actually, it's not meat-based. It's animal-based. It's carnivore. The only thing we have in it that's not carnivore is that garlic, uh, the herbs that are in the pluck. But everything else... It's carnivore. Now you can come back in the next segment. I had to think about that for a minute. Okay, super easy, super simple, and it's gonna be delicious. So let me bring over the pot. I've gotta drain it real quick. Pasta pot, so it works out really well. noodles you guys check this out put this right over here and let me get some tongs let me get some noodles look at that you guys got your noodles egg noodles super easy super simple yes you can make homemade noodles yes there are lots of recipes out there but when you're going through what you got in your refrigerator you're trying to re uh, do something like I was this it, this fits the bill super easy super simple doesn't it here oh, yeah. they're good they are and it kind of plumped them up a little bit too I think plumped them up but uh Neely has like a xanthan gum and a and a eggs uh, noodle recipe um but just being able to use egg pipe wraps is awesome especially if we're eating in our vita or something yeah sorry i've got lack of room let's try this oh yeah mm -mm -mm. guys i'm so excited about this it smells 
heavenly. Oh man, it's, yes, it does. it does. And you can use, like I said, you can use hamburger, minced. You could use chicken. You could put shrimp in here instead. You could even do scallops if you don't mind a few carbs. Um, you can do uh, beef. The sky's the limit on this. But this is a great way to get that, that rich, delicious, creamy sauce, meat, and noodle fix that I crave a lot. Don't you, Harry? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it, it's nice every once in a while to have something other than just a big piece of meat. Yes, I agree. You know. And I would think that could potentially be a downfall of uh, people... Um, like myself, which I like variety, right? right. I want Me variety, too. but I don't want to slice and dice and peel and chop and have 800 things cooking at the same time on my stove to get what I want. Yeah, I mean, that's how my grandma cooked. She had like four or five things going at the same well, time. Well, everybody did in the old home. days, right? Yeah. Really? You know, unless in the old days they were just eating the... The homemade bread, the, you know, uh, chicken eggs they got right from the f fresh hen house outside, right, that are out in the yard, eating all the delicious bugs and grasses and seeds out there and the cow or the animal that they just freshly butchered, you know, all of that. But man, you guys, this was so easy, so delicious. I'm in there kind of in a funk going, I really want something that's noodly, right? Oops, I need a little napkin here. I want to make it look pretty for everybody. You guys, look at this beautiful, super easy, super delicious, hearty, rich, delicious carnivore meal. Noodles, meat, and an Alfredo sauce made with Philadelphia cream cheese and butter because butter's better. Anyway, you guys, gotta go eat this deliciousness right now. If you're hungry for noodles and some kind of an Alfredo uh, noodle meat dish, this is the one for you. You guys, look at these noodles, right? When we had uh, stroganoff, we made them with egg noodles. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, wow, wow. Taste the pork with this. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Mmm. Mmm. Well, that's really rich. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that delicious? That is really good. Now let me try it with a piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Got it with some noodle, man. Try and get it all in here. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Is that amazing? You don't have to be a carnivore to enjoy this at all. I mean, nope. this is really good. You could serve that to anybody oh, that yeah. came to your house. Oh, yeah. Super easy, super simple, super delicious. Every time when you're hungry for noodles and Alfredo, this is going to be a new carnivore dish, a new everyday dish mm. for Harry and I, especially using leftovers. Harry, you're gonna wear a hole in your plate trying to get the last of your food. Was it good? So good. Okay, on a one to 10 scale. I'll give you a 10 on this one. <gasps> a what? Yeah, I'm gonna have to give you a 10 on this one because I was sitting here thinking, what could you make with this that would be better than this if it was this plate of food? Oh, you guys, I am honored. Woohoo! I have never heard the word 10 out of Harry's mouth, I don't that think. That was really good. About especially something with noodles and Alfredo sauce. That was good. 
I am so happy you like it. In fact, you're all out now, huh? Yes, we ate every smack and dab oh, bit yeah. of it. Well, maybe next, next time. time. Okay. You too, huh? I got the last bit. I know, it's really, My last really meat, good. I had to have, I want to lick the plate. Right? Man. <clears throat> I'm going to call this carnivore alf noodles, al al carnivore Alfredo with noodles. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, that was really good. I mean, I wish I had a bucket of this stuff. I it know, was, right? I'm That's full. I am full. Yep. Mm. I'm telling you guys, that's better than cake. Better than cake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll eat this over cake anytime. See you guys in the next segment. Man, oh, man. Mmm. <sighs> hey, everybody. Carnivore does not have to be boring and repetitious. There are things that I'm gonna be making over the next several weeks that I'm gonna incorporate that are gonna be total animal-based um, carnivore, at least what Harry and I consider carnivore. Yes, indeed, and you can make it as pure or add the seasonings or a little hot sauce of your choice, but that was amazing. Bone broth, cream cheese, butter, egg life wraps, the plain ones, and pork, five ingredients with a little bit of pluck, but you don't have to add the pluck, but it made it amazing. It really, really was. Hey everybody, we're gonna close out today where you get to sleep in our bedroom because they did the trees. We're all happy, it's safe in there, at least as safe as it can be for now, right? Uh, you never know what's gonna happen. So you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell so you get notified every time we upload a new vid video. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. I hear a sound, girl, where are you? Good time, I'm coming. Hey, mom. Hi, honey. Were you doing a long puppy down? Yeah. Say goodnight. <coughs> Would you like some cottage cheese? <coughs> Cheese. Okay, we'll get to some cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is so good. Oh, you really found a new friend in cottage cheese, didn't you? I'd rather have cottage cheese and ice cream. I know. She's not lying. No, I know she's She not. really does. If you put down a plate of either, she'll go after the cottage cheese. You ready? Can you say goodnight, everybody? Good night. Okay. There you go. There's some cottage cheese. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, good. Oh, I love my cup cheese. You can't have none. Do I have to save this whole container for you? Yeah, and my cup cheese. I'll put your name on it. <laughs> anyway, you guys, you've got to try that carnivore dish because it's good for keto, keto, or low carb, and regular folks that just want to be healthy. <laughs> good night, everyone.